Governor Ige says he has not made a decision on what will happen with the inter island travel quarantine. That was just one of the topics he discussed in a one on one interview with our Lauren Day. She joins us now with more from the governor. That's right. I spoke with the governor about a number of things from testing to bringing back visitors to the islands to how do we rebuild our economy. The governor says Hawaii is not yet where he wants us to be in our fight against COVID-19, but he is hopeful that we can move forward. We are clearly not where we want to be, but we are making significant progress. Governor David Ige says he never expected Oahu would need a second stay-at-home order. You could see people starting to relax and, and baby luau's in the parks and on the beaches. We didn't anticipate how quickly the number of new cases would um, e exponentially expand uh, and get to the point of uh, overwhelming our health care system. The governor admitting the state wasn't as prepared as it should have been. Clearly, um, the, that rapid increase in the number of cases, we um, didn't have um, the resources in the right places that we needed to. Ige says the situation is improving and he's preparing to launch the pre-travel test program to bring back mainland visitors on October 15th. In order to avoid future spikes of coronavirus cases, Ige hopes to significantly increase testing. If we had a, a, an accurate test that's very inexpensive, uh, that we can broadly test people and get a result back very quickly, that changes the game for us. You know, we can definitely then consider testing visitors upon arrival. You know, we can test more regularly in our public schools. Ige hopes to be able to get hundreds of thousands of those tests per week before the end of the year. The governor says he is also considering requiring a pre inter island travel COVID test. In the ideal world, the case counts on Oahu would drop to the level where it's, it's the same on Oahu as it is in a neighbor island, and then there wouldn't be a reason to have the uh, inter island quarantine in place. To avoid closing businesses and implementing another stay at home order, the governor says everyone needs to do their part. What I'm hoping is that everybody recognizes that we have to live differently with COVID-19. That means if you feel the slightest bit sick, stay home. We all have to take personal responsibility, change what we do and how we interact, because that's the only way to manage and contain the virus. And the better we can do that, the quicker we can re revive the economy. Now, I also asked the governor how the state plans on quickly distributing a COVID vaccine once one is approved. He said candidly, initially, it will take a while since supply will be limited. He does want to remind everyone to get their flu shot this year so that our health system doesn't get overwhelmed. Lauren Day, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.